Hey, what's up everyone? It's uh, Adam from Growing Your Vegetables here and I want to talk to you about watering your tomato plants. I know it sounds pretty simple. Just give your plants some water and watch them grow, but you can overwater them by giving them too much love of watering them too much. If, you're, if you find yourself watering two, three, four times a day, drenching your tomato plants and they look bad, turning yellow, not healthy, you're overwatering. Uh, a good technique that I've learned, it's super simple, and, and I, I do this every once in a while as a reminder of how much water I'm giving the plants. I like to anticipate it raining later in the day. Florida's weather is hard to predict, and I, so I don't like to overwater thinking, hey, you know, I'm not gonna get back to the plants at the end of the day to give them some more water. Typically, in a hot summer day, uh, watering twice a day is very common in Florida and and I'll do what I call it's it's like a bucket test where you would you just count to yourself as you fill up a bucket to about the amount how much water you want to give to each plant just so you can remind yourself every once in a while how much water to give your plant so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you a, a two gallon bucket that I keep here at the house from Home Depot and I just count to 10 or 13 or 14 till I get the water pressure just right to what I think is about a half to three quarters of a gallon of water per plant. And the, my plants, I usually grow them in a either a 10 to 15 gallon pot. Uh, the tomato plant I'm going to show you um, that I'm going to water in this video is in a 15 gallon pot. And uh, let's go to it. So here we go. So here is my uh, two gallon. Home Depot Homer Homer's bucket and um, there's nothing in it right now but I know this seems real simple but it's a good reminder every once in a while as you're watering uh, to because uh, when you water your tomato plants you don't want to water them with too much water pressure you want to keep the leaves of the tomato plant as dry as possible so when you water you water around the perimeter of the tree around the perimeter of the plant and just get everything nice and, and moist to the level that you're looking for and uh, this takes a little bit of experience depending on your soil type and how you mixed it and how much moisture the the soil will hold you just have to trial and error and you get this right so so what i do is i'll find my my water pressure that i'm looking for it's usually about uh usually about right there kind of a low low pressure and i'll just put it in the bucket you know So I increased the pressure just a tiny bit. I was a little slow, but that's about that's about 15 seconds. So so in 15 seconds, you know, about a half gallon is usually what I do. I usually count about about 15, and then just kind of gauge it from there. This is a good good technique to kind of understand how much water's coming out of your hose. Um, so I just come over to my plants, get the water pressure that I'm about looking for and just come around the perimeter of the plant and, and just trying to stay away from the, the pl plant leaves and just kind of get the water in there it's kind of hard to do this with one hand and hold the camera and stuff but been kind of a dry day today so I think a little extra watering than normal you know and it's not uncommon especially in Florida's heat in the middle you know, even though this is not quite summer it's really hot um, and I kind of like to spray it right at the base of the plant for a minute to make sure I get the the root area of the tomato plant nice and moist and that's about it so that's how I water my tomato plants. Real simple technique. Just use the bucket, determine your water pressure, and, and go for there. So happy gardening, everybody. Hope you enjoy my tip on how to water your tomato plants and, uh, and grow on. Thank you.